find the judge in the John Goodman case announced today that jury selection will be held in Tampa one week from today. Meanwhile, Goodman's attorneys continue to ask that Goodman's blood samples from the night of the crash not be allowed in his retrial. Joining us now in our studios, our exclusive legal contributor and former prosecutor Ellen Roberts, who prosecuted Goodman during the first trial. So we heard that the jury selection will be in Tampa. Of course, Goodman's attorneys wanted the entire process done over there. Why would that benefit Goodman? I don't know that it would benefit anybody. I know the burden of proof obviously is on the state, and it would be certainly a lot more trying for the state to move witnesses, uh, you know, that, that stay with us during the trial and everything else, to have everybody over there and not have the staff working behind them. You know, it would be harder for the state. Do you think it would, that a Tampa jury would be more likely to acquit him? No. No. You think it would, would chances are the same? Chances are the same, but the West Coast is very conservative. Mm -hmm. And also, the judge conducted a three day long hearing di discussing that blood evidence that we've heard so much about. He has not ruled yet, but seems to be leaning toward allowing the blood evidence in. How detrimental would that be for Goodman's team if the judge rules that the blood evidence is allowed in? Well, it's, it's obviously uh, scientific evidence of his guilt. So it's crucial to the defense to do whatever they could possibly do, which I believe they have. Uh, to keep the blood out. What are you expecting in terms of jury selection what the uh, prosecutors will be looking for? You know, I, I wish I could answer that question. I think every prosecutor would like to answer that question, but it's, uh, you just don't know. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you, you, you misjudge a lot of people, and I mean, just like we did the first time around. Um, so you don't know. So we'll just have to wait and see. Starting Monday, of course, WPBF 25 News will be in Tampa. Ellen, for jury selection, we're going to stream the hearing so you can watch it live on WPBF.com starting Monday morning. Paul?